<laughs> Bubbleston, what were you thinking? So we've got drama going on in the bunny barn today. Yes. <laughs> um, I found Bubbleston was loose, running around with Theodore, so she could possibly be pregnant. And it sucks because we're planning on taking her to the state fair. Whoa, 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 rewind. And it stinks. And it stinks. Sorry. <laughs> okay, um, um, and it stinks because we're planning to um, take Bubbles into the state fair. So we may not be able to take her. <laughs> because the day that she's due is the day that we're supposed to take her to the state fair. <laughs> yes. And what, and what is the deal? We thought Neville was bad. Now we have two of them. She, he's like, this is just not part of the routine here. There's usually just one person and the rabbit. rabbit yeah. So that's a bummer because we were really looking forward to taking Bumbleston to the state fair. Bumbleston, what were you thinking? Is adorable. So I guess as long as who is it, Molly or is it Holly? Um, Molly. Mo we're taking Molly to the state fair. Okay, so as long as Molly doesn't get in with Theodore, then we'll be good. Theodore, you sneaky little bunny, you. I think Bubbleson was the sneaky one though. So I'm going out in the garden today to get some much needed picking done. I haven't looked at the okra for several days. So I'm going to see if there's anything there. I'm sure there is because one day you have some about that big and then the next time you look at them they're like huge. It's always really hard to catch okra just at the right time. See if I can get through this mess right here without harming the corn too much. Oh yeah, it looks like we've got some okra to pick. I always hate picking okra because it makes me super itchy. I need to really be wearing long sleeves to do this. I'm just gonna go ahead and pick this baby one off of there because I know next time I come out here it'll be probably about that long. Not quite enough to pickle, but it's enough to cut up and put in the freezer to use later on. Now on to picking tomatoes. I'm really not sure what to expect. I'm hoping to get a lot because it's been a while since I've picked any, but I'm also kind of concerned that there'll be a lot of bad ones in there because we've had several heavy rains and you know the days that I have decided to go out and pick it came in and it rained really heavy and the plants were all wet and I didn't want to wade through there and you know like possibly spread disease among them and everything so I left them so it's really hard telling what I'm gonna find oh my gosh Well, we're not off to a very wonderful start here. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. <laughs> Perhaps picking tomatoes isn't meant for me to do today because I just about ran into that. And when it comes to spiders, I'm usually out of here. So perhaps I'll just pick around that big boy. Mm. 
Well, unfortunately, I think I threw out a lot more than I got this time. But luckily, there are still a ton of green ones out here. And there's some nice sized green ones. So I think actually I'm in pretty good shape. I was thinking that the majority of the tomatoes had already ripened and we were kind of on the downhill side of it. But really, there are a ton of green ones in there yet to ripen up. So I think we are kind of like on the uphill side of it. Preserving okra is really easy. You just slice it up. Put it in a ziplock. And it's ready for the freezer. I haven't checked Nadine for a while, so I decided to come out here and see what's up with her. Right there she is. She's been laying very intently too, so we're keeping our fingers crossed, but we're trying not to get our hopes too high. This is the most beautiful evening. I just love evenings like this. It's so quiet, calm, cool, just beautiful. I think it's one of my most favorite things about living out here in the country. Ha, 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 ha.